Well, in Kiev for us, our international correspondent, Annelise Borges, we can cross over to her now. Annelise, uh, we can see that you are outside there in the Ukrainian capital um, after that curfew has wrapped up for the time being. But just talk me through what people went through during those 35 hours. Well, people had to stay indoors uh, for 35 hours. So right before that curfew came into effect, we saw long lines of people in front of grocery stores trying to stock up on food and water. Uh, then many of them headed down to underground spaces, such as uh, metro stations, basements, parking lots. Uh, these spaces have turned into bomb shelters across the Ukrainian capital. Um, but what was interesting to note is that, was that there was no panic. There was no chaos. And uh, overall, the last few days, the atmosphere here in the Ukrainian capital really is one of calm surprisingly, despite everything that is happening, people are going about these difficult days in a very pragmatic way. They say they're trying to keep busy, they're trying to help each other, trying to figure out what there is to do to support the civil defense units currently uh, trying to protect the Ukrainian capital, but also uh, the army and the most vulnerable here in Kyiv. There's really a sense that people uh, understand that they need to stick together right now, that they are in this fight together. Before, we were all individuals, each one on their own. Now we're all united. We're helping each other. We care for each other. We support each other in the bad moments. We're even feeding each other. The volunteers are coming all the time. We have hot meals, soup. They're always bringing us bread. Even during the first curfew, they were bringing us bread, telling us to stock it up. We're so grateful to them. And now I want to go volunteer too, in the hospital, because we are Ukrainians. We are one. Putin will not win us over. An incredible response there, Annelise. And we've also seen today the Ukrainian president, Volodymyr Zelensky, out and about on a hospital visit, uh, visiting the wounded. How important is it that he is still seen out and about as this war continues? Well, it's extremely important for Ukrainians. Uh, the fact of the matter is uh, Volodymyr Zelensky is uh, no longer only the comedian turned president. He has really become a symbol of what this country is actually able to do. Uh, over the last few days, we've been speaking to people who said they weren't too happy about Zelensky before the war, but that they are very surprised that he stayed and quite pleased with what he's doing, with what he's been saying. He know, they know that he is their voice uh, with the world, that he's been talking to uh, the US Congress, addressing the US Congress, the German Bundestag, talking directly with uh, Western leaders about what's happening here in this country. And that counts, that matters for Ukrainians. Uh, we spoke with a member of a very famous band here in Ukraine, a short while ago and he told us that Zelensky is uh, really that little man that surprised everyone and uh, that is similar he said to what the Ukrainian army and the Ukrainian fighters currently trying to repel this Russian invasion uh, have done with the world. They have surprised everyone. Nobody thought that Ukrainians were going to defend themselves, that were going to be able to actually block Russia from advancing, from taking the Ukrainian capital, for example. So the fact that Volodymyr Zelensky stayed and that he is out and about and that he is currently, uh, constantly rather, communicating with his citizens and with the world really is extremely important in this moment for Ukrainians across the board. Those who voted for him and those who didn't.